guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning subscribers, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here for today's video. I have another Chanel unboxing. Yes, another Chanel unboxing. I don't know what it is. This year has just been like a Chanel obsession year for me. And it's a little scary because it's only March and I purchased tons of Chanel pieces. If you've seen any of my other videos. Hi, my name is Olivia and I am a Chanel addict. So if you guys are interested in taking a look at what bag I'm adding to my collection, make sure you stick around. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I make videos mostly on luxury designer bags. You know that already. If you scroll through my channel, that's basically all you're going to see sprinkle in a little bit of beauty in there and that's really what i like to do film you know i love to buy bags i love to try on makeup i'm not a pro on makeup so don't come to me for like a guru makeup artist content that's not me but i do like to try new makeup products that i get influenced to buy and i like to do like first impressions on those so if you guys you know, like that type of content, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and without further ado, let's open up this package. Okay, so here is the package. I purchased this bag from a seller here in the States. I bought from the seller before, and they're pretty on point with their description really excited this bag was listed as like new condition and i think i got a really really good deal on this piece so let's take a look at it because i want to show you guys my new bag Again, I bought from them before, so I've had a really good experience with buying, you know, my bags from them before. So I am a repeat customer. They have this little envelope here that I'm assuming is just a receipt. So yep, it's the receipt. And... Here is the bag. Right Chanel dust bag. Are you guys ready? like this Ta-da! So I decided to add the Chanel Coco Splash PVC bag to my collection and this is her you guys Look at how cute this bag is. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, wait. So there's a little mark right here and this definitely was not indicated on the posting. Maybe it's just something that's inside. No, it's just inside actually. Like, look, if you open this up, it goes away. It's just like the PVC on PVC creates that little mark like right there. So. Oops, false alarm. Whew. So this bag was listed as like new condition with the dust bag. And just briefly looking at her, I can definitely agree to that. Because I do not see anywhere 
on the leather. The little grommets still has the sticker on there, like the plastic sticker. They have their own tag attached. So with Yugi's Closet, they give you 30 days to return or exchange, I think. I think it's just return. But they give you 30 days to do that. But if you remove their tags, then you obviously will not be able to return them. This bag has silver hardware. So you can see the um, closure here is silver. And um, the grommets are also in silver and the strap as well. I think this collection is from 2018. I'll verify that and put it somewhere on the screen, but I'm, I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me right. Okay, yeah, so this bag is the Chanel Blue Transparent Quilted PVC Cocoa Splash Small Flat Bag. So here we go. It's a twist lock closure right here. And when you open it, it's just a PVC material. Like the whole bag is just made out of PVC with the exception of like the leather, you know, what do you call this? The leather parts, you know, throughout the bag. Like the, this is all leather. The pocket in the back has leather around there but everything else is pvc here is the handle for the strap the strap is very like light and dainty so it has that silver and the leather is like bluish color right there they put little plastic um Thing in there and then the interior I mean you can see right through this bag so the interior is just like this clear nothing else to it no other pockets inside so it smells just like PVC like a beach ball a really expensive beach ball <laughs> but um it's a very cute. I'm trying to decide if it's worth the money I paid for. I mean, okay, so I did a lot of, you know, before I bought this, I made sure I stocked the web to see if there's any other, you know, secondhand market because this is a 2018 collection, I think. So this wouldn't be sold in stores. And so the only places you could find this is in the pre-loved market. So I searched everywhere I can to see, you know, if any other um, stores are selling this for a like less expensive price. And I couldn't find any. So this was actually the cheapest one. I don't like the word cheap. This was actually like the least expensive place I found this bag in like new condition because all of the other bags I found had were like good, very good condition. And they were selling it for like four or $500 more than, than this bag. So I think I got like the best possible price for this bag, period. Not even the condition, I think, period. Um, I don't know if it's like that popular. I didn't see a lot of postings with this bag. I know Fashion File had um, a few, exact same bag, um, same style, same color. Um, and then I think Rebag and The Real Real also had it, but I believe Yugi's Closet had it listed for the best price. So that's why I ended up getting it there. And also I'm not trying to, you know, like advertise it or anything, but Yugi's Closet also offers a firm. So, you know, if you wanted to get it and pay at a payment plan, they have that as well. Of course, it's on approved credit, but it's just an option, FYI. So again, the back has this little Mona Lisa pocket there where you could put whatever you need to in here, most likely like cash or business cards or credit cards, ID. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. The tag you can see is right there. It says Chanel inside right there. So this bag 
is um, made in Italy and it's a flat bag, single flat bag. And the strap, like any Chanel flat bag, you can use, you know, you could double up and wear as a shorter shoulder bag or make it a single longer strap right here where you can wear it as a shoulder bag or crossbody. And I'll show you guys mod shots as well. But again, the chain is daintier than the normal like flat bags that they have. It's very light. And also they have like this leather part um, here on the strap. So that's, that is it. It moves pretty smoothly. And look, they actually even have like the leather, the grommet cover right there. So yeah, I would say this bag looks like new. So very cute. What do you guys think of this bag? I think it's a small size. Yeah, it's a small flat bag. I have a mini in the patent leather and this is definitely bigger than that. So um, if you guys want to see like a comparison video or comparison, a size comparison between this and my other Chanel bags, let me know. Um, I have all my unboxings up on my channel. So let me know if you guys want me to do any size comparisons. But yeah, this is pretty much it for this bag. Let me do a 360. Where did I get that from? I think, oh, Candy's Love for LV, I think. I'll put her channel in the description box. I think she's the one that does like a 360 on her bag. So I'm going to copy her. Um, I think it's such a cute idea. So when she does unboxings, she she will do like a 360. So let's do that. bag do you own a chanel pvc bag how is it holding up because i've seen mixed reviews there's not a lot of reviews or unboxings of this bag on youtube which is kind of surprising but the ones that i found i think it was from like hrh collection or something she was totally dissing like not this bag in particular but the colorful really really pretty pastel color bag that's like PVC as well, but she was saying how the um, PVC is just super thin. I'm not really sure. I don't have any other like PVC bags I can compare this to. Um, I do have like a Prada PVC bag, but that's, you know, Prada and this is Chanel. So I don't have any other Chanel PVC bags. Um, it It's, I, I wouldn't say it's flimsy, but it could definitely have been like a lot thicker. They could have made it a lot thicker, but you know, that's just what I think about the material. But let me know if you guys have this bag and let me know how it's holding up because I, you know, I'm new to it and I just wanna... So the wind just knocked over my husband's guitar. Okay, interesting. Sorry about that. Moving on, where was I? Okay, yeah. So let me know if you guys do have the PVC, Chanel PVC bag, like this, this bag in particular, or the other really, really pretty pastel looking one. That one I've also seen in the pre-loved market, but it's going for like way, way, way more than what I was willing to pay for, for a PVC bag. So that's another reason why I ended up getting this one instead. It was like 
a bit more reasonable than the other one. I don't want to spend too much on something that is like essentially plastic, but it's definitely a great piece to add to my collection. I'm thinking this one is going to be a keeper. I just, I can't see myself sending it back. I think it is super cute. I am definitely going to be able to use this over the summer. And I'm thinking I can use this like for concerts. You know how they won't let you bring bags in that, you know, that are not see-through? I'm hoping that you can bring this in. I mean, it is see-through, it just has color in it. So if you guys also know that, let me know because I don't want to go to a concert, bring this bag, and then for them to just say you can't bring that in because it still has color. So. I don't know. I'm really hoping that um, that I can use this because I was just thinking this is another way I can, you know, kind of justifying like where else can I use this bag? So um, yeah, let me know if you guys know for sure. I would really, really appreciate it. So, so let me show you guys quick mod shots of this bag. I am five foot two, and this is how the bag falls on my frame. I'm just super casual today um it is a monday and i just wanted to wear my sweatshirt oh this is actually a sweatshirt from my cousin's store it's called ola swim they're located in san diego women business women owned super awesome i love love their sweatshirts they have a lot of bathing suits and accessories and stuff anyways not sponsored just throwing it out there super cute I love it. I've just been crazy over like green. So that's like my color lately. I've just been obsessed with green. Anyways, sweatshirt, jeans, and here is the bag. So um, this is what it looks like when it's, you know, like double strapped like that as a shoulder bag. kind of like casual based on like the material and also the silver hardware which is great again i'm planning on using this bag for the summer i think it'll be a cute bag to bring to the beach you know so concerts hopefully if they allow this you know see-through but like blue tinted see-through material we'll see um but yeah this is it just a close-up look That concludes today's video unboxing slash reveal of this beautiful bag. I've made up my mind. This bag is a definite keeper. It is staying in my collection. Again, if you guys own this bag, please reach out to me on the comment section. I would love to know how yours is holding up. If you have any like tips and tricks for me on how I can, you know, keep or maintain this bag looking amazing let me know i've never owned a pvc bag from chanel before so i definitely want to make sure i'm taking care of it and if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and give me a follow here on youtube i would love to have you join my little youtube community if you have 
any questions or comments for me, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.